Hello everyone, Sean Manson here, and today I'm showing you how to create a secure FTP server using BSFTPD uh, on Debian. Uh, this guide will also work for the majority of Linux distributions uh, that, uh, that have BSFTP installed. So, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, FTP is very insecure um, inherently because it's passing credentials um, over uh, F, uh, sorry, over clear text. So someone performing a man in the middle attack or using a packet cipher can see your passwords in clear text. I've uh, demonstrated this in a previous video, uh, hacking FTP. So if you want more information, you can look at that. So to secure our FTP server, we can definitely uh, add some security. Um, and one step is creating a FTPS uh, server, which is FTP uh, that's tunneled over SSL. And so in order to do this, uh, very simple, only a couple of things. Uh, so for instance, right now I have FT uh, VSFTP installed and with my, um, with my current configuration, I'm able to log in and uh, you'll see actually the client will tell you insecure server it does not support FTP over TLS. Okay, so let's let's uh, do this. So I've written down the commands here, which I plan on putting the uh, putting in, in the description of the video. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a directory where we're going to store our uh, SSL certificate. Next thing we want to do is generate an SSL certificate. So we'll generate a self-signed certificate. Okay. So now it'll just ask your country name. So you put the ISO code for it. So I'm in Canada, so it'll be CA if you're in the US, US, uh, and so on and so on. I'm in Ontario, so you could just put ON. And then uh, fill in the info as you need to. Okay, so now that the SSL certificate is generated, we just move over to the VSFTP um, configuration file, which is located in etc. So since I'm already in that directory, we'll just do nano vsftp.conf. Okay, and now what you want to do is um, at the bottom here, we'll be editing, uh, we'll be adding to this configuration file. So I'll be removing the default location for the uh, certificate file. And we'll be putting in the rest of the details here. So we're storing our certificate in the SSL slash certificates directory. Okay, and we want to enable SSL um, we don't want to allow anonymous SSL. Uh, we want to force uh, the SSL um, certificate to be used. Okay. So we'll just paste this info in here. Okay. Control O to write. Now you're going to type in service VSFTPD restart. That restarts the service to refresh our settings. And now, if we go over to our client, hit quick connect, you'll see now we're presented with a certificate. Okay, now of course we're gonna get an error um, or a warning saying that this is a self-signed certificate um, and rightfully so. I mean, uh, just because I self-signed my certificate that doesn't mean, you know, it's, it's secure. But if you, if you had, let's say, uh, an SSL certificate from GoDaddy or something like that, all you would do is put the two certificate files in the certificates directory that we created and it'll be the same configuration. Okay, so hit okay. I'm gonna choose always trust the certificate. 
and now we are secured over TLS and uh, with a 2048 bit um, encryption uh, uh, through the certificate that we generated. So I hope this video helped you uh, helps you configure uh, an additional security step for your FTP server. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and please uh, subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at shawmancini.com or send me an email at shawmancini2010 at gmail.com. Talk to you soon.